Hi, Leo. I have a reading for you. I hope this finds you well. I hope it finds you in your happiness and your peace and your love, all of that. I have a reading for Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. And really anybody that wants to connect with Leo's energy today. So if these messages resonate with you, please like the video, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. These are all ways that you can help me as I help you on your journey. So thank you so much for being here. Spirit, what is it that the Leo Collective needs to know? Okay, whoa. Beautiful. All right. We got King of Wands at the back of the deck. Today I'm working with traditional Rider Waite. I'm working with the Golden Wheel Tarot for clarification and Angel Inspiration deck. So let's get right into it. So I got five cards on the table here. We have the Ace of Cups in reverse. We have the Three of Swords, the Devil card, the Hierophant, and the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so first things first. The only energy that we have in reverse here is the Ace, the Ace of Cups, right? So that may be about releasing something, letting go of some sort of emotional experience or emotional connection, right? With the Three of Swords, this is about coming to a harsh reality, right? Having a difficult conversation, um, experiencing a heartbreak or a separation, being put in a third party situation, practice your discernment and place it as it resonates. And we have this devil energy. So devil energy can represent uh, addictions, um, unhealthy attachments, codependency, negativity, abuse even, um, so we do have the devil's energy here, but what's interesting is that the devil and the Hierophant, the kind of high vibrational energy, the high vibrational energy of the Hierophant compared to the low vibrational energy of the devil, right? They kind of sit with the same stance, the same gesture. Right, so I feel like Whatever it is that you just went through, Leo, because I am seeing a, a painful situation that you're coming out of, that you had to release something out of your life that caused a tremendous amount of heartbreak, but there was a knowing that this energy was unhealthy or it was binding or it was toxic. You know, place it as it makes sense for your situation. But out of this devil situation came this great wisdom. Right, because Ace of Cups, it means releasing. But I'm also reading it as self-love, right? Because when it's in the upright position, it's kind of this energy of the divine pouring into you through an outside connection that's moving into your life, something new. When it's in reverse, it can also represent pouring into yourself. I feel like you made a decision in love or in connection, in relationship, that was rooted in self-love. You chose to almost accept a broken heart because it meant that you could detach from this toxic energy. That decision put you into a high vibration. It gave you wisdom that you can then share with other people, right? Because the Hierophant is wise counsel. The Hierophant is a spiritual leader. I don't know why. <laughs> this is funny because I can really relate to this energy. Spirit just but <laughs> feels silly, but I'll, I'll go with it. Um, they put Taylor Swift in my mind. And when I think of Taylor Swift in relation to this energy, she is an artist that creates her music, which is very, very successful music. Um, creates it out of heartbreak, right? She allows herself to step into union with connections that she knows is wrong for her in order to garner an inspiration that is going to propel her career forward. I feel like this Leo Collective 
maybe you do do it for inspiration because we do have the king of wands at the back of the deck <laughs> but i do feel like the king of, king of wands is in alignment with the hierophant right some sort of a leadership role i feel like the collective leo collective unconsciously or subconsciously maybe even consciously i don't know and i don't judge <laughs> allows themselves to go through painful situations as a means of garnering wisdom through experience, right? This is very like Scorpionic energy, right? Because Scorpio in its high vibration is the Phoenix, right? So that energy will put themselves into or allow themselves or in a soul way sign contracts that put them into low vibrational situations, in order to rise to a higher level. And I feel like Leo's collective, whether you're conscious of this or not, has made the choice to sign up on a soul level, on a, an Akashic Records level, to experience heartbreaks so that they could garner enough wisdom so then they can lead others through endeavors of the heart or to freeing themselves from toxic energies. And the only way that you can do that is through experience. I mean, that isn't the only way that you can do it, but that's the best way for you to do it. That's what I'm getting. Now, the Ace of Pentacles, I'm getting that someone's writing a book here. Obviously, that's not going to resonate for everybody. Um, if that does resonate with you, this is going to be very successful. Right through this Ace of Cups in reverse, you're being handed a seed that is going to grow into something very big that is tangible. Right? And there is a creative aspect here with the King of Wands. But it's a leadership. It's a leadership with the King of Wands and the Hierophant. Wise counsel. I keep hearing wise counsel. So maybe you're going into a counseling field. You know, maybe you are an elder within your church. But whatever it is that you've been through is, is for such a high purpose. And I think you know that. Right, I just heard him preaching to the choir. The back of the deck here, we have the Empress. And the King of Wands as well. With the Ten of Cups. And the Hierophant. This is wild. So we have the Hierophant, again, in the King of Wands, reiterated in this new deck. The Empress is giving birth to something new, right? Ace of Pentacles. And look at this. What is she holding? She's holding a cup. The Ace of Cups. Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Cups. This is Empress energy. Creation energy. Big creation energy. Now, for some of you, this is like an actual creation of life, right? This could be ushering in a, a child. But this is emotional fulfillment. An overpouring of energies. And you're moving quickly towards this energy with the Knight of Swords here. Let's see if I can focus this. Yeah. You're ushering this energy in quickly. And you did it through the release of this devil energy. Choosing self-love. This is crazy. And I'm getting Taylor Swift again. So maybe you're like a big Taylor Swift fan. I don't know why, why Spirit is bringing her through for me to reiterate this. But... This is what I'm getting. Like, this is strategic. I'm very, very surprised that we don't have the Seven of Swords on the table here. This is strategic. This is like a deep, deep, deep spiritual knowing. Uh, an under deep understanding of universal laws. And using it to your advantage. Putting yourself in situations that are devilish in energy. So that you can use the energy that comes from defeating or freeing yourself. Now, I can't remember which reading it was, but I recently did a reading that, actually, one of them was the Taurus reading. 
Um, but I think it was Capricorn's energy that I picked up on this as well, that there was an energy of being held back, right? Because the devil chains you. There's an energy of the Saturn holding you back, creating enough momentum or tension in order to propel forward. I feel like this group, Leo Collective, is also tapping into this energy. They're utilizing heartbreak, release, and that tension that's created through devil energy to propel yourself up like a slingshot pulling you back so that you can be released forward. This is very cool. And I feel so honored to be picking up on this energy consistently, which means that I'm reading for like really, um, really high vibrational people. And that makes me feel really good. Not that it's about me, but I, I just feel like saying that. It's beautiful. Very intelligent. Spiritually intelligent. Okay. We got four. Archangel Chamiel, four. Archangel Gabriel, three. 37, friendship. And 28, honor life cycles. Mm, okay, so you're completing a cycle here. This is, hi. Just one second. Okay, sorry about that. <laughs> All right. So we have 10, 28 with honor life's cycles. All right, so this is the world energy that I'm picking up on. Right, we have this butterfly here that represents transformation. All right, and when I look at this, I'm also getting hermit energy as well, the way that she's holding this light within her hand. All right, so a lot of wisdom came out of whatever it is that you have released yourself from. But this is Saturn's energy, right? The devil is Capricorn energy, who's ruled by Saturn, which is the world, right? The completion of the cycle, the, whatever it is that was holding on to you was so that you could ascend to the next level, right? Because the world card is all about completion and graduation. This is spirit saying that, yep, that's what this was. This was a way for you to garner enough energy to skip a timeline or like hop a ladder or just ascend in a way that is much quicker than what you would have been able to do otherwise. And there is a knowing, whether it's a conscious knowing or unconscious knowing. Now, this may have um, been related to a friendship group, although I do feel like you're going to be bringing in new connections that mirror you, right? More balanced connections. Again, this is a 10, seven and three, 10 completion. We have a full moon in the background, which again is a message of completion, endings and new beginnings. So yeah, I think a lot of you may have experienced this heartbreak through a friend group. Um, or if it was a romantic connection, a work situation, place it as it resonates, you are going to start attracting, this vibration that you're on is going to start attracting like-minded people, soul tribe people. People that mirror you, that can reciprocate your energy back to you. What you give, you're gonna start getting back in connections. And we have the peace lily here with Gabrielle, right? So I, I am getting an energy of death, right? Death and rebirth, new beginnings that come out of endings. And Chamoyel, I mean, this is very clearly an energy of love. So you're bringing love, true love in towards you. You're bringing friendship. You're bringing healing. You're bringing a completion and a leveling up. And with that Ace of Pentacles, you're also bringing in a new opportunity that is going to grow into something materially abundant as well. Reiterated with that Empress card there. 
big creative energy and energy of leadership. You're going to be able to teach other people through your experiences. Now I'm going to read Archangel Gabrielle out of the deck or out of the book. Sorry. Okay. Gabrielle. Strength, joy, and truth. Name of meaning or meaning of name, strength of God. Gabriel's strength and guidance will assist you to understand where you need to put your focus in order to follow your life purpose, the higher fund. She will help you to gain clarity over your thoughts in order for you to take the necessary action to fulfill your life's purpose and bring positive results into your life. Ace of Pentacles. Gabriel's guidance helps to inspire artists and writers. Somebody's writing a book here. <laughs> Someone's writing a book. And whatever, whatever this situation is, it created an inspiration that you're going to be able to use this inspiration creatively to create something materially. She assists you to communicate your truth to others through compassion and confidence. She, she assists with all aspects of parenting, conception, and childbirth. Right? That Ten of Cups with the child, the Empress, is also an energy of pregnancy. Right? So that material creation may be a, an actual human body. <laughs> okay. She will help those wanting to adopt a child as well as help you to connect to your own inner child, healing any childhood traumas, right? That's that, that death card here, that energy of healing. Archangel Gabriel will bring you joy in finding your own unique purpose and gifts in life. Gabriel asks, do you feel you are unable to find purpose or meaning in your life? Two, do past hurts prevent you from finding joy in your life? Tell yourself, one, I step into my truth and purpose with joy and strength. I invite Archangel Gabrielle to shower me with motivation and inspiration. Wow. I mean, I, I feel like I can leave it at that. Thank you so much. Uh, if these messages resonated with you, please like the video, comment on the video, share it with another Leo in your life, subscribe to the channel for more. Thank you so much for the opportunity to connect with this beautiful energy. It is an honor and a privilege. And until we meet again, namaste.